guys, good evening and thank you very much for joining. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good, good evening, evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Let me go ahead and share my screen and I'm going to open here the, um, the manual. So thank you very much for joining us. You know, we're going to be uh, learning, you know, um, new topics, right? We're going to be working with um, different, you know, uh, information. Oops, bear with me. Ahí está. We're going to be moving on right to the next unit. Remember that this is class number, let me see what class this is. I have it here. Wait, it's the super lento. General. Bye. This is session number nine. ¿Verdad? La sesión nueve quiere decir de que ya pasamos cuatro sesiones, perdón, ocho sesiones, en las que vimos section one, two. Luego las segundas, las segundas cuatro, perdón, en las siguientes cuatro clases, we started section three and the midterm exam. ¿Verdad? Entonces, um, thank you very much for the ones that have already completed, you know, all the exercises in the platform. Don't forget to uh, to ask questions, right? If you have any questions related to to the platform or the things that that uh, we have been uh, studying, you are free to um, to ask questions, right? Um, let me see. Aquí está. So we're going to move to behind the scenes, right? Behind the scenes, that is going to be the 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 part where we're moving on. Uh, if you have already checked the platform, great, that's wonderful. If you haven't, well, you will see, you know, the, the, the sequence of topics um, over there. So it says movies first, right? Movies, movie first, first, I'm sorry. Okay. Have you ever seen any of these movies? Did you enjoy them? Have you ever seen a silent film? A Mickey Mouse cartoon? A 3D film? A movie at a drive-in? an IMAX film, are there any movies made in your country? Okay, so here we have some movies, right? Um, Silent Natalie film, The Great Train Robbery, Mickey Mouse cartoon from 1928, Driving Movie Theater in 1933, etc. So here you have probably movies that if you read them, I, I bet you recognize Terminator 2, a, Titanic, for example, right? Um, well, only those two are the ones that I know. Then A Gone with the Wind, right, in 1939. Uh, some movies that probably we don't know, but what about the questions, okay? What are your favorite movies, guys, okay? Do you like um, terror movies? Do you like comedy movies? Do you like romantic movies, okay? What are your favorite movies? What type of movies oh do you like? In my case, it's a romantic. Romantic movies. Okay, very good. What about you, Byron? I'm sorry. No sé si usted fue quien activó. Thank you, Saul. Teacher, in my case, I like action movies. Action movies. Okay, yes. Actually, those are uh, good movies, right? I remember when I was a child, I used to watch a lot of action movies. Very good. Now, is there, do you know any movie that has been made in El Salvador? Movies made in El Salvador? What do you think? Have you heard about any movie that has been made in El Salvador? No? Well, actually, I, I, I am not pretty sure. No, no estoy segura, la verdad. No he escuchado de movies que se hayan hecho por acá, but eh, I guess there are. Muy probablemente ha de haber más de alguna, ¿verdad? Así de que... No. Yeah. Yeah, uh, um, 
I think the feel the movie in El Salvador, um, Radio Venceremos. Ah, okay. That's a movie that has been made here in El Salvador. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh -huh. I, 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 to be honest, I haven't done, you know, any type of research on the movies that have been made here in El Salvador. But let's go ahead and read the conversation, okay? It says, movies are hard work. Now, guys, I don't know if you have seen the behind the scenes, you know, videos, right? When they make movies, there is a lot of work, you know, eh, involved, right? There are so many things that they need to consider and, and it requires, you know, a lot of money to make a movie. So here we have a conversation between Ryan and Nina, right? So I'm going to read it first and then I'm going to ask for a couple of volunteers to read it, okay? So it says, working on movies must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. Uh, a one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Imagine, guys, a one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. Okay, One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I love to. <laughs> that would be wonderful, right? To have a friend that can invite, uh, invite you to a studio where the movie is being made, right? Very good, excellent. So now, can I have a couple of volunteers to read the conversation? Me, teacher. Okay, ¿Quién dijo, pero ¿quién dijo mi? Perdón, es que no veo la mano. Griselda Zamora. Saúl Arnulfo. Ajá, es que veo la mano de Saúl y la de y la de Madeline. Entonces me ayuda Saúl y Madeline y luego okay. me ayuda Griselda. Ajá, entonces Saúl, okay. ayúdame con Ryan y Nina sería eh, su compañera. Ajá. Of course. Of okay, course. Yes. Okay. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't a film, just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So, how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I love to. Very good, excellent guys, thank you very much. Now, as you can see, right, we have um, certain, I would say, uh, I mean, some sentences that will help us, you know, to introduce the topic that we will discuss, okay? If we go down here, we're going to use passive voice. We're going to use passive voice to describe the process. But before I move to the passive voice, it, creo que Griselda quería participar. She wanted to practice the reading. Uh, can I have another volunteer to help uh, Griselda, please? Me. Okay, go ahead. Pero quien dijo me? <laughs> es que no veo las manos, perdón. Elmer, okay, Elmer. No. Veo la mano de Elmer levantada. So, can, Elmer, ayúdeme con Ryan y Griselda, ayúdeme con Nina. Okay. Okay, teacher. Oh. Working on movies must be really in interesting. Exciting, perdón. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. 
a one minute things in a feeling can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, I think it's feel just on once one lot of different shoots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the field, in the final field. So how many tie downs a typical exams uh, need to be shot? It's a bang, it's, it depends. But sometimes as many as 20 times one, is, one things might be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the study, the study, the study? How do you, what is the pronunciation teacher? Which one? Permítame, solo estoy diciéndole algo aquí. Don Griselda me decía. Sí, te en in the pronunciation de estudio. Why don't you come visit the studio? Yeah, the that's the correct pronunciation, studio. Of course. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. Okay. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great. I love to. Okay, thank you very much, guys. And as you can see, right, we're going to highlight some of the uh, verbs or some of the sentences that we can use, right, whenever we, we have to um, um, use, you know, the passive voice to express a process. So as you can see, he's explaining what are the different steps that they need to follow to make up a movie or to shot a scenes, right, scenes. No decimos a scenes, no scenes, right? Now, take a look in here. We have uh, over here, okay, the following expressions, okay? Can take, okay? It can take days to shoot, right? The scene or the scene, right, is on film. But what I want you to pay attention to are the two different elements. We have isn't and we have filmed. Okay, so what are the two elements that you can see here, guys? What is this? It's a negative. It's Muy a... bien. Con negative con, is contraction, teacher. But of which verb? Which verb is that? Verb to be. Verb to be, very good. What about this? What's this? Past participle. Very past good. Participle. Excellent. It's the past participle of the verb. So the same thing happens with the different elements that we have here, right? So the best ones are used. Again, we have the verb be and we have the past participle of the verb. Okay. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? Well, it depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times, right? One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. And then it continues, you know, explaining how things are done, right? How things are done. Again, simple, I mean, uh, um, verb B plus the past participle of the verb. Okay, so guys, what we are going to study are 
I mean, I'm sorry, is the passive voice. And we're going to use it to explain a process as they just did, you know, with these sentences, right? If we go down here, it says the passive voice, the passive to describe process, right? We have is, are, plus, past participle, right? Is, are, plus, past participle. And then we have over here, model, plus, be, plus, past participle. Hmm. Can I use model verbs with passive voice? Yes, you can. Actually, you can use the passive voice to describe process using modal verbs, okay? Now, if you see over here, okay, now that they mentioned, okay, the different past participle forms, I'm going to have it marked, can take, okay? Um, maybe shot, okay? to be taken, have to be taken, right, etc. We can use different, you know, expressions to go ahead and do it. But let's take a look at the different processes, right? I'm going to um, share here the conversation. So lo voy a buscar acá en el chat. Okay. Okay, and we're going to study the different structure. Okay, the passive to describe process. So what are the two elements that I need when I talk about passive voice? Well, I need two different elements, en español y en inglés. What are the two elements that I need? I need is and I need, I need are, plus the past participle form. Okay, now uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and use it, okay, like this. Going to have the first the first structure, and I'm going to have the verb be plus the past participle. So a scene isn't filmed just once, only the best shots are used, okay? A scene isn't filmed just once, only the best shots are used. So here we have, okay, the verb be isn't filmed, and then filmed, which is a past participle, are, verb be, and used past participles, okay? And then we have the second one, right? When we use models, okay? When we use models, okay, we can use it like this, the model verb, then the verb be, and then the past participle. One scene, may be shot. Now, be careful with the verb have, porque con have, you have to say have to be, had to be taken, right? One scene may be shot from five or six different angles and lots of different shots have to be taken, okay? Now, when you, uh, when you use it like that, okay, you can make up your sentences using, right? Uh, different models, it, you can use may or have, but also you have more, you have can't, uh, you had would, etc. okay? The sentences below describe how a movie is made. First, complete the sentences using the passive and then compare with a partner, okay? Now, first, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're going to complete, right, the exercise and we're going to, um, over here, and we're going to um, share the, the answers, okay? Let's go ahead and um, do the first one. Number one over here, it says, to complete the script, it has to. And then you have to look for the, um, the past participle of the verb. So I'm going to give you five minutes, guys, for you to complete them, okay? Using the structures that I shared with you through WhatsApp. Give me a moment, I'm going to do it here. So you have five minutes and your five minutes begin right now.
Chicos, para mientras hacen eso, I'm going to pass the attendance, ok? Give me one moment. Vaya, Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Tamaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Present. Thank you. María Griselda de La Paz Zamora. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespin. Rufino. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Presente. Thank you. Sandra Yanet Vázquez Cortés. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Arnulfo Menjibar Crespin. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Thank you. Okay, so let me know when you if you have finished. Teacher, sorry. Teacher, sorry. Present, Carlos Roberto. Thank you. Ahí está, ya le agregamos, Carlos Roberto. Thank you very much. So tell me, have you finished, guys? Están listos. Are you ready, guys? I'm ready, teacher. Thank you very much. Ready, teacher. Very good. Let's complete I'm the ready. first one. And it says, to complete the script, it has to. It has to what? Be divided. Muy bien, right? Good job. I'm going to type the answers over here, okay? Aquí lo bueno, vamos a poner. It has to be divided, right? Muy bien, okay? I'm going to point mark here, okay? So you remember that is part of the sentence. And the filming details. Mm -hmm. And the filming details need to need to what Be brought out, teacher. Need 
to be, what is the past participle of write? Reading. 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 Okay. Reading. So, and the film and details need to be written out. Okay, very good. Good job. What about the next one, okay? It says here, first, an outline of the script has to, right? Be prepared. Has to be prepared. To be prepared. 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 Oh. Okay. So an outline of the script. Right. Script has to be prepared. Muy bien. Okay. So an outline of the film has to be prepared. And I'm going to. No, eso sí ahí termina, ¿verdad? What about the next one? Next, actors. Are chosen. Are chosen. Are chosen. Are chosen. Mm -hmm. Actors are chosen, right? And locations. Are picked. Muy bien. Locations are picked, right? Locations are picked. And Teacher. costumes, costumes, perdón, dígame. Uh, uses are for plural. Perdón. Uses are for plurals. Oh, yeah, uses exactly. Are. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. Remember okay. that uh -huh, whenever we use uh, the verb be, right, we have three different forms. The most am, is, and are, right? Okay, am, thank you, is. teacher. You're welcome. Am is for the first person, first singular person, right? Then we have is for he, she, it, and singular nouns. And then we have are for you, they, we, and plural nouns. Muy bien. So in costumes, sorry, costumes. Are designed. Muy bien. Are designed. Designed. Very good. Actors are chosen, locations are picked, and costumes are designed. Then the outlined. The outline. Is expand. It's, it's expanded. Is expanded, it's expanded, right? Into a script, right? Muy bien. And after the script, the script, I'm sorry. It's completed. It's completed. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. After the script is completed, a director is must must what? Must, este es un, es un model. Mm -hmm. Must be hired. Must, must be hired. Muy bien, must be hired. Right, must be hired. Very good, okay? Luego tenemos aquí during and after the film, okay? So, este lo hicieron, el de abajo, todavía no. No, teacher. No, don't worry. Entonces, vamos a irnos por partes. I'm going to share the answers for this one so you can um, check them later. Here we have, I'm going to share this ones with you. Okay. And what about this? Vamos a trabajar ahora en este. Okay. So during and after the film. Okay. So let's go ahead and work on this one. So for this one, I will give you five minutes. Okay. And then we're going to uh, check the answers. Four minutes. Creo que con cuatro estamos bien. Four minutes, okay. Your four minutes begin right now.
Give me one moment, guys, okay? Give me one moment. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and check the answer. So we have the first one, the final film, film, I'm sorry, you see on screen. What do you have for that one? I'm going to erase all of this because you, you already have them in WhatsApp. It's created. Mm -hmm. It's created. Okay. You see uh, the final film, right? The final film. Oops, sorry. Film you see. You see on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's created by the director and the editor of the dozen mm -hmm. shows. Okay, it's created. Very good. So, since it's singular, we're using the verb to be in the singular form, right? It's created by the director and editor out of thousands of different shots. What about the next one? Some, the film has been edited, right? And music. Sorry. I can see the complete, okay. Está en, en WhatsApp, acuérdense. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Is composed. Mm -hmm. Composed. Very good, is composed, right? And sound effects. May be added. Muy bien, may be added, right? Very good. So music is composed and sound effects may be added, okay? What about the next one? Is finished. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. The filming, right? Is, oops, sorry. The filming is finished, right? Is finished and the different shots, right? Shots can then I don't know is R O is pero es un es un modal verb es can okay entonces cuál necesito ahí B 
Who? Muy bien. B. B. Muy bien. It's B, right? So shots can be, can then, I'm sorry, be put together, right? So shots can then be put together. Very good. By the editor and the director. What about the next one? One shouldn't begins, right? The different shots. Different shots are, are filmed. filmed. Muy bien. Different shots are filmed. Muy bien. Uh, separately, right? And scenes may. May be. Be. Not. Okay, so in this case, we're going to use not first, right? May not be. May not be shot. Shot, right? Not be shot. Very good, okay? So, good job on that one. And I can see that you are paying attention to the um, to the singular and plural forms, okay? And that's, that's good. I'm going to also share these answers with you, right? Now, guys, what I need you to do, okay? Think about sentences. Now, obviously, here we are talking about a process, right? And 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 the idea is to organize it, but we're not going to organize. It. We're just, you know, um, uh, using the structure. Okay. Now, what is the structure that I need to use? Well, first, right? Let's talk about passive voice in general. Okay, so we were saying that for passive voice, I need two elements. I need the verb be or the verb to be, right? And then I need the past participle of the verb. Okay, past participle of the verb. And if it's a passive voice, right? Passive voice with models, okay? Yes, con models. I need the model, as you can see here in the WhatsApp group, right? I need the model. And then I need the verb be. And then I need the past participle. La ventaja de los models es que eh, yo tengo, yo sé que no, no voy a conjugar el verbo, sino que solo voy a usar be, must be you know, found, must be prepared, etc. Or if I'm using, for example, have to. Cuando yo uso have to, ahí sí tengo que agregar el, 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 el ese to, ¿verdad? Eh, it has to be done. It has to be prepared. It has to be signed, etc. right? So that is going to be, you know, the, the, the way we are going to work with the passive voice. Now, let's... Go ahead and create some examples. Vamos a hacer unas, bueno, ustedes van a hacer sus propios ejemplos, sus propias oraciones. Okay, and I'm going to give you, let's say, four minutes. Okay, cuatro minutitos para que usted haga dos ejemplos de cada una. Two examples with passive voice and two examples with passive voice using models. Okay, so four minutes, I think it's going to be okay. Y luego pues vamos a compartir todos nuestras, nuestros ejemplos. Go ahead. Let me know when you're ready. Si termina antes, mejor. ¿verdad?
All right, chicos, let's go ahead and um, type your sentences here, okay? So let's begin with only passive voice, okay? So please raise your hand if you want to participate and I will take, you know, your example. Saul, please. Okay, I have only one. Mm -hmm. Okay, my example say, the food has to be prepared by my mother. Mm -hmm. The food has to be prepared by my mother. By my mother. Pero esta la vamos a pasar entonces para acá abajo because it's with a model, right? I'm going to put it here. Muy bien. So the food has to be prepared by my mother. Okay, excellent. Do you have another example, Saul? Yes, of course. Um, the homework may be done by my friends. Okay, the homework may, may be, done be done by my friends. By my friends. Very good. Correct. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Don't forget to raise a hand, okay, if you want to participate. I had another example, but I don't know is, is correct. Ah, okay. Tell me. Okay. Um, the food is prepared by my sister. Okay. Know. Yes, it's correct. The food is prepared mm -hmm. by part. my sister. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, yes, Rufino Amirka. The, the passive voice, mm -hmm. uh, they are using the computer for a lot, lot time. Repeat the, the sentence, they? They are using the computer mm -hmm. for a lot, lot time, mucho tiempo, for long a long time. time. Bye. Okay, this one is different. This is different. Yeah. Okay, because mm -hmm. here we're talking about a we're, we're, we don't need this this structure. Aquí sería they have used. Ellos han usado. Sería present perfect, presente perfecto. Uh, eh, okay. uh -huh. When we talk about passive voice, and this is very important, guys, creo que es importante mencionarlo, ¿verdad? When we use the passive voice, the subject of the sentence in the active becomes the object becomes the subject, right, in the passive voice. En otras palabras, el objeto directo de la oración activa se convierte en el sujeto de la oración pasiva. ¿Cómo así? Vaya. Let's, 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 you know, um, use this sentence. Usemos esta oración que nos dio Rufino América. Dice, they have used the computer for a long time. Ellos han usado la computadora por mucho tiempo. Ok. Muy bien. Y, y nos va a servir de, 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 de ejemplo para, dar, para explicar el punto que yo tengo, ¿verdad? So, right now, ¿verdad? Tengo una oración, esto es active voice. Esta es la voz activa. Ahora vamos a convertir esta voz activa en voz pasiva. Vaya. ¿Cómo hago eso, Marce? Cuando yo tengo la voz activa, the active voice, yo tengo que identificar el objeto de la oración. Por supuesto, eso ya sería una clase pues, aparte o también recomiendo eh, saber cómo funciona el objeto directo y el objeto indirecto en español. Pero, ¿de qué estamos hablando? They have used. Responde la pregunta, ¿qué? ¿Qué han usado? What have they used, guys? ¿Qué han usado? What have they used? The computer. The computer. The computer. Muy bien. The Entonces, computer. the object of the sentence It's is computer. the computer. Right? Muy bien. Entonces, ahora que yo ya tengo, ¿verdad? El objeto, el objeto de la oración activa, ¿verdad? Object of the active sentence. La vamos a, a especificar aquí. Of the active sentence. Active voice sentence. El objeto de la, de, la oración, de la oración activa se convierte en el sujeto de la oración pasiva. Entonces, ahora que ya identifique el objeto, voy a decir the computer has been used 
um, by them. Si yo quiero, agrego el, 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 el agente. Esto se llama agente. ¿Quién? quién eh, ¿Perdón? No, no, nada. No, no. Ah, el agente es, digamos, quién ejecutó la acción. Porque hay algo que, que, tengo, que tenemos que aclarar también. La voz activa se usa cuando yo estoy más interesado en la acción que en quien ejecutó la acción. Entonces, yo voy a decir, the computer has been used by them, si yo quiero, que si yo quiero mencionar por quién ha sido. Pero yo perfectamente lo puedo omitir si no es necesario, porque a mí lo que me interesa es la acción misma. Entonces, the computer has been used by them, o lo puedo dejar sin esto, ¿verdad? For a long time. Y si quiero agregarlo al final, pues lo agrego. No es necesario, siento yo, pero yo puedo agregar el agente, ¿verdad? The computer has been used for a long time by them, pero creo que se escucha mejor sin el agente. Porque lo, lo que me interesa es expresar que la computadora la han usado por mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, así es como funciona la voz, la voz pasiva, perdón, de la voz activa a la voz pasiva. Ahora ya tenemos acá the passive voice. ¿Ok? Esta ya sería passive voice. ¿Ok? Now, do you have more examples? Eh, veamos, Byron, what about you? The computer is used by my brother. Ok, we can use the computer. Oh, perdón, acá. The computer is used by my brother. Muy bien. And this card has to be written by me. Okay, this car has to be driven. Is card. Mm -hmm. this... Missing the D. Ah, you mean credit card? Yes. Or, or batch, perdón. ¿Qué tipo de tarjeta? Una carta. Ah, playing card. Like this? Una carta uh, de juego? Yes. Okay. This playing card has to be driven by me? Así? Is now teacher is writing. Ah, written. Written. Ah, okay. This <laughs> No, entonces estamos hablando, perdón, de una carta, de una carta en papel que le va a mandar a alguien. Yes. Ah, okay. Entonces esa es una letter. Mm -hmm. Letter. See, sí, this letter has to be written this by me. This letter has to be written by me, okay? Oh, sí, muy bien. Thank you. Sí, porque tenemos letter, tenemos card, tenemos credit card y tenemos playing card, ¿verdad? Vaya, more examples, más ejemplos, chicos. What other examples do you have? Examples with your own sentences? Mm -hmm. We have still some, you know, minutes if you want to uh, share uh, your examples. Teacher. Yes. And this car has to be driven by my father. Pa, pero hoy se hablamos de auto, ¿verdad? This yes. Car, this car has to be driven. By, by my by, father. Sí, correct. Okay, that, that would count as a uh, sentence using passive voice with model. Okay, this car has to be driven by my father. Very good. Okay. Eh, Rufino. The other sentences um, in passive voice. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I go to this moment, the correct. Okay. Um, the fool isn't. Prepared for her, this correct? The food. The food the isn't uh -huh. isn't prepared 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 for her by her. Uh, by her. See, sí. uh, okay. when Thank we you. want to, you're welcome. When we want to mention the agent, when we eh, incluimos el agente, usamos by. Mm -hmm. By. Uh, sí. 
Correcto. Thank you. You're welcome. The food eat is unprepared by her. Okay. Very good. Any other examples that you may have, guys? Thank you, Elmer Mauricio. Uh, the cell phone is fixer for my mother. Okay, the cell phone is is fixer. Fixed. Uh-huh. Uh, by my mother. By my mother. Wow. <laughs> you cool that your mom can help you with fixing your cell phone, right? So the cell phone is fixed by my mother. Okay, that's correct. By my mother. And the pronunciation here is fixed, right? Fixed. Very good. So as you can see, guys, all what we need to do is to follow the pattern, okay? And for passive voice, eh, it, it's very similar to Spanish. Es bien similar a español porque siempre tenemos lo que es el verbo to be más, ¿verdad? El, el part pasado participio del verbo. Por ejemplo, eh, la decisión ha sido tomada, ¿verdad? The decision has been made. Eh, la tarea debe ser revisada. The homework should be checked, ¿verdad? Um, we can also include sentences, you know, about things as we found in the book processes. Or we can talk about how things are made. Cómo son hechas las cosas, ¿verdad? It, there are different, you know, um, different situations in which we can use the passive voice. Dígame, Rufino. Perdón, tenía pregunta. I want to see other other sentences. Uh, uh, I want to see, I, I have to, co I, ha I have, si la tengo correcta. Ah, okay. uh, and, and, and the um, passive voice with models. Ah, okay, tell me. Uh, uh, he could, he could be being with me, it's correct. He could be? Be being Él pudo haber, or he could be being with me. Oh, okay. This one, esa que me acaba de decir, sería perfecta para el tema de la clase de la unidad anterior. He could have been with me. Pudo haberse quedado conmigo, ¿verdad? Digamos que lo mandaron a otro equipo, ¿verdad? Y yo sé, ah, lástima, he could have been with me in my team, right? Pero este sí sería possibility, posibilidad, eh, en pasado. He could have been with me. Él pudo haber estado conmigo en mi equipo, in my team. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this Thank one you. is different. You're welcome. Okay. Vamos a ponerlo acá, sí. So, any other question, guys, that you may have? No se preocupe que esta solo es la introduction, pues luego se va a seguir eh, revisando un poquito más acerca de la voz pasiva. Les voy a compartir estos ejemplos, ¿ok? Y también la explicación de lo de la voz activa a la voz pasiva. La forma de practicarlo generalmente es así, ¿verdad? Es, es haciendo oraciones que nos la dan en voz pasiva, perdón, en voz activa, y nosotros las convertimos a voz pasiva. ¿Verdad? Entonces, cuando nosotros hacemos eso, eh, practicamos un poquito acerca de cómo hacer la, la, la digamos, este, la estructura. Pero ya al crear nuestras oraciones, pues pienso yo que es un poquito ya más, eh, digamos, nos cuesta un poquito más porque ya tenemos que poner en práctica lo que hemos aprendido. Pero igual, don't worry, guys. Um, eh, vamos a... Vamos a seguir practicando el tema, ¿verdad? Y esta pues fue solo una, solo una introduction, ¿ok? Now, uh, I'm going to pass the attendance. Creo que casi todos se presentaron. Solo me faltó Cristina Vigail Quintanilla Amador. ¿Será que está por acá? Cristina Vigail. No está. Bye. Entonces, ahí queda, ¿verdad? La, la can... Recuerden también tratar de conectarse los 60 minutos, ¿verdad? Entre menos minutos usted se conecte, es más difícil alcanzar el objetivo de la asistencia. Acordémonos de que no es, no es en sí asistir a la clase, 
sino más bien es asistir a la clase y quedarse los 60 minutos. Si no, por ejemplo, si usted entra y solo se quedó, digamos, este, 20 minutos, prácticamente perdió, ¿verdad? Todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Si se entró 20, perdió 40 minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, debemos de quedarnos los 60 minutos para que podamos alcanzar la meta de la, de la cantidad de tiempo que yo necesito estar conectado. De lo contrario, pues nos afecta el aspecto de la asistencia con INSAFORP, ¿verdad? That is just a reminder, solo es un recordatorio para que este, eh, lo tomen en cuenta, ¿verdad? Si, es, si no es posible, ustedes traten de conectarse, ¿verdad? Y, y aunque sea y vayan escuchando esa parte que, en la que probablemente no pueden estar viendo directamente el, la pantalla, pero sí pueden estar escuchando. ¿verdad? Así que that's going to be it for today, guys. Don't forget, please, don't forget to work in the platform. Por favor, trabajemos okay. en la plataforma y también si tienen preguntas, no olviden traer mañana sus preguntas, ¿ok? So thank you guys for joining and see hey, you teacher. tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Thank good night. Teacher. Okay, good, good night. Bye-bye. See you bye, tomorrow. Bye. See, see you. you tomorrow.